live, but not really. It's recorded, but it feels <laughs> live. We're at Bethel Atlanta property, and I got my buddy here, Mike Edwards, and I think he has a word for you. One thing I got to tell you, Mike, that I love about you is Mike is not all about releasing the gift. He's not into his titles that he's had or apostle, pastor. His heart right here, this man's heart, is to release the gift. And I think he has a gift for you. We've been talking about living from heaven, our spirit identity. And Mike, I would love for you to share with this precious um, tribe, pride, fan club. It's not a fan club, the Jesus loving <laughs> page. What does it mean to live from the spirit to you? And how do you abide in Christ? So I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let him take it away. Go Great ahead. Great question. Man. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah. Coming from a magnificent fireball. Yeah. <laughs> Lord gave me about, yeah, about you that you're like that dynamite. That's awesome, man. That's so cool. Yeah, I enjoyed like, that. Thank you. Like yeah. when you're looking at dynamite, like it is never the size of the dynamite in comparison to what it does. Like oh, that's it's just cool. it's so. That's awesome. It's man. so different. Little, little small stick of dynamite, big impact. That's awesome. And that's Teresa. Hey, this is what connections are about. You want people who celebrate you. Yeah. And uh, who you are, not who you're not. So I just want to give a shout out and a blessing. And thanks to God for connections. So, all right. Spirit thanks, Teresa. identity, Mike. Well, um, you know, one of the things that God has invited us to very early on when we first come into his kingdom, I mean, we get translated. Mm. We get changed to another kingdom automatically, and you know we go through a process of, of what's known as sanctification. We're not trying to use Christianese, but I mean that's mm. really what happens. You know, as we stay in Him, as we stay engrafted in Him, things begin to change. And why did I say it's multifaceted? Because for me, early on in my development, I didn't have people around me who um, were really big into Holy Spirit type stuff just yet mm -hmm. I mean I had a radical experience um, with the Holy Spirit and a radical change um, but I didn't have anybody in my life who was like that on a regular basis but one of the things that I began to do as a young believer uh, with no pastor with mm -hmm. no oversight was I began to look in the word mm -hmm. and I, I began to understand that the word wasn't just words it wasn't just mm -hmm. um, what's known as logos just written word but it was word that had power behind it. And I, I really believed that it was God breathed. So when the word told me that I was seated in the heavenly places, Ooh, I didn't wait for uh, the lack of the pastor or whoever I had it or didn't have in my life to, uh, to let that be uh, my validator. Yeah. It just, the word validated itself to me. It yeah. registered with my spirit, man, and, and something just came alive. And so, um, I would spend hours and hours, all I'd do is play basketball, eat, go work in the hospital, and just read my word, and at that time, look at videotapes, <laughs> VHS, you know. This you know, is... that's really good, because I think, I think when you're looking at Facebook, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are looking for maybe a place, mm -hmm. but this is for some, I know there's someone that maybe they don't have a connection yet. Yeah. Will you just look into the camera and just encourage yeah. them to keep on? And, you you yeah. know, um, when you look at the book of Revelation, and a lot of people are scared of it, you know, John wrote that from the island of Patmos. Mm. It, it was, there was no city that he was at or anything like that. It was from the island of Patmos. And God was giving him revelation and insight yes. there that um, it's not a book to be scared of. I mean, the beginning of it, it says that blessed is he who reads the word of this book. And so... Uh, another scripture says that you need if that no man should teach you. It's not saying that you should get away from fellowship, but God is so much into um, educating you through the Spirit. Yeah. And no one has to be around you. And it said that the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth. And it's not about striving or being Thank perfect you. or anything like that. But, I mean, just, just utilizing this tool that he's given us yeah. you know i i wouldn't want to be a parent who didn't give my children any instruction so even if i look this might be sacrilegious to somebody but even if i didn't have my bible because i confess christ yeah, uh, in the good. beginning and and allow his holy spirit to come inside you and just like how you did um you begin this new track like i said earlier you're yeah. translated to a different kingdom so situations will start coming into your way but 
thank God, you know, with the result of, of mobile technology and all the, the yeah. tools that we have, like, I mean, you have all this stuff at your disposal. Yeah. And it's, it's not just words. Amen. It, it, these things are living and it's breathing. It's rhema. It's this yeah. living word. So thank you. Um, I just want to encourage you. Um, quick, really quick story. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter where you are. Uh -huh. uh, I went to Iraq in 03, part of the Iraq war, and uh, I was pretty angry at God. Um, I didn't want to go, you know, at 48 months of marriage, my wife and I had been separate for 40 months and I was on my way out the army and they told me I had to go and I was very, very upset, very angry. But let me tell you, I had the, I had the Holy Spirit inside yeah. me. So even though I wasn't saying I'm a Christian, even though I wasn't going around preaching all the time when I first got over there, people were coming up to me saying, hey, I know you're one of these Christian guys. And I'm cheating on my wife. How is it that you're not cheating on your wife when you have all this availability? Because everybody was doing it. But before I knew it, we started having services over there, you know, um, leading people to Christ in between vehicles and things of that nature um, because I had something that was real inside of me. So I just want to encourage you, yes. like, whether you have people around you or not, like, you carry, carry um, a, a, a treasure in your earthen vessel that's... Um, that's just a tremendous thing that God has given us. Well, that's Mike Edwards. Maybe we'll have some more guests, but so appreciate you sharing. And Mike remember, amazing. no strive, simply abide in the line. Talk to you in the next video, and we really love you. <laughs>